Okay, in this video recording, we are going to go through the features of Zoom. Okay, in the first video, I have shown you how to create or how to make a Zoom ID so that you can begin with your online classes. For today, we are going to go through the different features of Zoom, which you can use before you start your online classes. Okay, so the first thing that you need to set is actually the settings. Okay, so if you go to this um, like a ring here that says settings, you can see the general features that you can choose before you start your meeting. So there's the general tab. Here you can choose whether you want to start Zoom when I start Windows. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Well, by the way, in this tutorial video, I am using my computer, my laptop. So after that, you can also choose when close, minimize window uh, uh, to the notification area instead of the taskbar. So these are the features that you can choose in a general uh, setting. If you're using two monitors, um, wherein you can screen share, two screen sharing, if you allow that later on, then you can also tick that. Um, and then you can also enter full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting. So there are two um, various view. So I'm actually using the full version of a full screen. That's why it's large enough. However, on a typical um, laptop, it's just a small um, squarish or rectangular um, uh, thing, prompt that comes out of your screen. Um, after that, you can automatically copy invite link once the meeting starts. So in the previous video, I've showed you how to create your Zoom meeting. So if you tick this, it will automatically copy that invite link for you. Then you have ask to confirm when I leave a meeting. Yes, I have that. Show my connected time. Remind me five minutes before my upcoming meeting. So if you want to be reminded, let's say if you have a meeting at 8 a.m., if you want to be reminded about that meeting at 7.55, you can tick this. Stop my video and audio when my display is off or screen saver begins. Okay, if let's say your computer is on screen save or um, yeah, you want to save your battery or, or, or for that matter, then you can actually tick that. And this is your reaction um, skin tone. Like if you want to do a thumbs up or a clap, later on I'm going to show you how to use this reaction um, videos. Now, if you want to see more view um, settings, then you have to click this part, which will bring you to another um, link. But now, for this matter, for this link, right, you have to go to the website. But I'm not going to do that. That will be on another separate video. So that I'm just going to show you how to use the, the app first. Okay, next would be the video. So this is where you will see yourself. Okay, so that's actually me. Hi. Then you can actually change whether it's an on original ratio or it will be widescreen. So this is a widescreen um, um, setting, but I'm going to use original um, ratio. Then you can also enable your HD, mirror my video, touch up my screen. Okay, touch, sorry, touch up my appearance. So this is how it looks like if you don't. Then if you touch up my appearance, it would just like filter your, 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 your appearance so that works for me so I have to make sure that that's tick then always display participant names on their video um, turn off my video and joining a meeting um, if you don't want um, your video to be switched on automatically you can also tick that and then you can just manually turn it on when you want to um, to switch to um, video viewing then um, you can also choose hide non-video non participants. So later on, once your meeting starts or your online classes um, starts, you can actually choose whether or not your whether or not you would want to show um, those um, students, let's say, who don't who who don't switch on their um, video. So this is um, you just have to tick that. But for me, since I would like to see all of them inside, whether they have switch on or switch off their video, so I would um, I wouldn't tick that um, option. Then also here there will be like some troubleshooting things about video settings, and then you have the advanced settings. So when you go to advanced setting, that also brings you to this um, 
um, choices. So enable denoise, enable hardware acceleration for video processing, enable hardware acceleration for sending video, enable hardware acceleration for receiving video. So this is your video sales setting. And then you can just look into that. I put it on auto because that's the, uh, the easiest um, option, or that's actually the option um, enabled for you once you sign up for a Zoom. Okay, now going to audio. So this is your audio um, um, audio uh, feature. Um, if you would like to test the speaker of how loud or whether your um, computer is picking up the the other participants' um, audio, then you can test your speaker here. So I put it on max. And then also my microphone. So there you go. It's um, making an input. That's why it's moving. Then use separate audio device to play ringtone simultaneously. Okay, that's another thing that you would like to um, take if you're using another audio um, device for your for your um, Zoom sessions. Then you can also automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting. Mute my microphone when joining a meeting. Press and hold space key to temporarily unmute myself and sync buttons on headset. So you can actually do your space uh, space button to make sure that you can unmute or mute myself. So um, I, I do this, uh, um, I take these options for myself. Now, if you have, if you would like to go further on your audio settings, um, showing meeting option to enable original sound from microphone and that's an option that you can also do and these are suppressed person background noise okay um, if you would like to moderate it aggressive or disable it then it won't this it won't um, um, have that kind of um, option to help you suppress most especially if there's a lot of background noises happening around when you're doing your um, um, online uh, zoom sessions then you have suppress intermittent background noise I put it on auto echo cancellation so if you would like to set this up you can also do so now screen sharing is very useful most especially if you're doing your um, online classes this is very very useful and i also do it um, use this feature myself when you are going to like do some presentations most especially if you are using powerpoint presentations and this is very important so when i do a screen share i always enter full screen when participants share a screen so this is an option when wherein it's not you sharing the screen but your student or another participant um, sharing the screen. In another video, I'm going to show you how you do it yourself and how you would allow other participants to share a screen. So for this one, it says enter full screen when a participant shares screen. So um, I some, because sometimes I would like to have an interactive um, lesson using sharing screen. So I do permit them sometimes, but there's a part or of um, or there's like a setting on Zoom which um, this allows screen sharing for a participant. Let's say if you just want yourself to do the screen sharing, then you can also um, deactivate that. I'm going to show you that in, uh, in another video. Now, you also have maximized Zoom window when participants share screen. Then, of course, you have scale to fit shared content to Zoom window, enable to remote control of all applications, side-by-side -side mode. Okay, this one, um, I'm going to show you that on another separate video on share, sc share screens. Um, it means that one side is for you to see the participants or let's say your face or the speaker and then the other side of your screen shows the PowerPoint presentation. So that's just like a side-by-side -side, uh, mode. Then if you also have the silent system notification when sharing um, desktop. So you can also go to advanced. This one enable hardware acceleration screen sharing. Limit your screen share to 10 frames per second. Um, that one you can set it also. Then you also sh um, show green border when I select the shared content. So these are all screen um, sharing advanced options that you can choose. Now there's also chat. This one is the chat box option. So when you start your meeting, your participants can actually either chat to you, chat to everyone, or chat privately. So this is um, a setting that you can also activate or deactivate once you are doing your um, online sessions. Um, there, um, later on in another video, I'm going to show you how to um, do that as you go as you go about with the actual real-time Zoom session wherein you can activate and deactivate it. Okay, now um, these are all my previews. These are my all settings that I prefer to have. Then um, I choose to keep all unread messages on top or uh, on the top or you can also choose the other options. So these are the options that you can um, check for yourself. Okay, there you go.
Okay, you can also play sounds so that you can hear if there's um, a chat coming in while you're doing your um, Zoom sessions, you can also hear that. Then this is a very um, interesting feature of um, Zoom, wherein you can actually um, change your um, background. Let's say if you don't like your background and um, like there's clutter behind you, so you can actually do that or maybe hide keep it private, keep your things private behind you, then you can actually change that by doing this. See, it's like I'm in the San Francisco. There you go. And I'm in the outer space. There are a lot of um, other sites that offers you um, virtual backgrounds. So these are actually the basics that it's already embedded in the um, uh, Zoom app. You can actually add the image that you want. So you can just click that. Okay, so that's about a virtual um, backgrounds. Then you also have your recordings. Now for your recordings, this is um, an option wherein you can record the, the, um, record the sessions that you're having. So you can either choose where you want to um, save the recording and it also gives you these um, choices or options that you would like to to see. Okay, what are the time step? Um, you, this is a, this is my own setting. I usually I usually want to have a, a time stamp to the recording because when I do have that time stamp, then I can see um, the time uh, the time when that session had been um, conducted. Then you can also have record video during screen sharing. Place video next to the shared screen in the recording. So this is how. Um, you can opt to choose what type of um, recording settings you have. Then, of course, that's your pro profile. Now, I'm just using the basics. So the basics is actually a free, um, a free um, option, that, uh, which, is, which allows you to have a minimum of one-on-one -on -one to 100 participants in one um, Zoom meeting. Though there are some limitations, just like, for example, 40 minutes. So it gets cut off after 40 minutes. Um, what, I what, what I would usually do, let's say if I have another session in my class, then I would just ask my students to re-log back into that particular ID number and also that password. So you can also do that. You don't have to pay. All right. Now statistics, okay, there you go. Shortcuts, if you are very much good or you are more in tune to uh, doing shortcuts, you can also so do that. Your Alt um, and uh, other uh, Shift and Control uh, shortcuts and there you go your accessibility so these are the default accessibility um, that is already set so these are actually the bas basic features of um, zoom that you can set up and choose by yourself when you create your zoom account so i hope this helps please let me know if this helped you a lot um, try to comment below and try to subscribe to this channel for you to be able to know more about starting your online Zoom session classes.